people care five million times more about material culture stuff than they do about language. If you have, let me, let me take this out of the Viking sphere just because it might help demonstrate how, uh, how absurd this is. If you have a movie about um, ancient Rome, okay, set in ancient Rome, perhaps uh, dramatization of Julius Caesar's life or something, and uh, Brutus comes roaring up in his introductory scene in a glistening red Ferrari, and nobody comments about this, and it's just treated as part of the setting that there are Ferraris in ancient Rome, it would infuriate uh, all of the people who say that they really, really care about historical accuracy. Even though, you know, Ferraris are produced in Italy, I guess, so that is actually a connection to Rome in a sense, right? Um, but if you get language stuff wrong or alphabet stuff wrong, nobody cares. And um, this was demonstrated to me very, very forcefully when um, I was invited back on by uh, IGN, a uh, video game channel here uh, on YouTube, to comment on some uh, scenes from the God of War Ragnarok game, where I was astonished at how poorly the Old Norse language uh, was handled. So what this video is about is partially just me blowing off some steam about this because the game's going to make somebody millions of dollars. I don't know who. I don't really understand how those businesses work. But no one would do it if, if it wasn't profitable. Um, you know, and, and, I, I, and they won't pay someone a dollar more than Google Translate, right? Well, what I want to show you is why Google Translate or uh, just looking up words really doesn't work. Health is named my Crawford Jackson physician. That's how I might restate, hi, my name is Dr. Jackson Crawford. Uh, if I was doing the equivalent of Google translating from Old Norse to uh, English, right? All of those words are related in some way to words that I would actually say, right? Uh, in Old Norse, as in many languages, uh, a typical way of greeting someone is to wish uh, them health and ultimately our hi or hello is related to expressions like that. Um, but Old Norse word order can be quite a bit freer. And of course, uh, in English, doctor is uh, a title taken on by people with certain degrees, usually to show off. For me, I resist that temptation to show off, but it still sometimes comes out automatically. Um, and even though what you see there is, like I said, all of the words that I would say, it's not in the order that I would say them, and it's not necessarily in the meaning that, you, you know, physician is what maybe you would get out of out of uh, doctor as that's a more common meaning in English. That's all jumbled and that's what you get if you put English into Google Translate and then set it to Icelandic, which is the closest thing you can get to Old Norse on there. Now I'm not sure that uh, God of War Ragnarok uh, used Google Translate. The same effect uh, is basically possible if you just go and like search a dictionary for uh, word by word what you want in English and, and try to get it in Old Norse or Icelandic. Because part of what makes this so hard is that words you want to use in English um, aren't necessarily going to correspond to the words that you want in the other language. Plus, the other language's grammar isn't going to correspond perfectly uh, with the grammar of English. So. To use an example from a language that more English speakers are familiar with, Spanish. What is the word are, A-R-E, in Spanish? Well, you might say, dummy, it's son. Yes, it is if you mean they are. But if I mean we are, it's somos, right? Spanish distinguishes between this we are word and this they are word, which English doesn't do. Similarly, Old Norse distinguishes between a we are word and a they are word and many, many, many other grammatical distinctions that English would never dream of making. 
and then a monolingual a monolingual English speaker isn't going to even think about uh, trying to find. So, I was thinking about this. Um, let me give you some some specific examples. Um, I'm not going to pick on too many specific examples from God of War. I'm just going to kind of make up some specific examples. Um, I'll come right back and do that after a uh, quick break. <laughs> So I imagine in uh, whatever studio or room or home office in which um, these translations are being done um, at some video game or movie or whatever in progress, someone just says to someone else, let's wrap this up. How would I say that in Old Norse? Well, if I plug that word by word into Google Translate or pick it word by word out of a dictionary, I might get this in Icelandic. Lauta okur vevja thesi uf, which is idiotic and means nothing like what let's wrap this up means in English. To start with, the grammar is nothing like Icelandic Old Norse grammar. Lauta is the infinitive, it's not the form for, you know, the, the, the just of sense, the encouraging sense. It's the sense you'd use for like they let. So let's, let's just take it as like they let us weave. Um, I don't even know if this is really a good word for wrap. Um, but that's what I got out of Google Translate. This, now this is the word this, but it's this for a masculine subject, not for an object. Now, if you don't remember very much about grammar, uh, subject is I, object is me, right? So this is pretty nonsensical, and then up. So you get something that's just word salad. Now, I'm deliberately picking an idiom here, right? Let's wrap this up, meaning like, let's end this, let's, let's quit. Um, because you can do this two ways if you want to do it like semi-correctly. If you're ignoring that idiomatically in English it means let's quit and not like let's wrap a gift up, and you still want to say like, literally let's wrap a gift up, the correct thing to say would be uh, pokum thesu in. All right, so pokum is the form of, I guess, an, I'm thinking about this in Old Norse. I'm kind of talking about modern Icelandic. So I'll say in a modern Icelandic, pukum, because it really is a modern Icelandic word. Anyway, pukum is the jussive first person plural to paka, which is the actual word that you use for wrapping a gift. So it's that means in one word, the English is the equivalent of English, let's pack. Then you would say thesu for this, not thesi, because thesu is the neuter object form, specifically it's the dative object form, because paka doesn't take an accusative object, like most verbs, it takes a dative object, another thing you would need specialized knowledge for. And you say that you pack things in, not up in Icelandic, so pakum thesu in, not lauta okur vefia thesu up. And that's still if you literally mean let's wrap up a gift. If you want to just say let's quit, the idiomatic way to say that in Icelandic is haitum thesu. Right, haita meaning stop. Um, haitum is the first person plural justice form, so let us quit this thesu. Again, dative, neuter, singular. From lauta okur vevia thesu up to haitum thesu, right? You need a human being who knows both languages well to do this and not just put it through Google Translate or pick word by word from a dictionary, right? And there may still even be subtleties here where you know a, a native speaker of modern Icelandic would do this differently from from me a, uh, I dare say competent uh, second language speaker I just give you another example like this because I was thinking about this with 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 gifts and it being you know the latter part of the year there are many gifts under the Christmas tree Google Translate or a word by word picking out of the dictionary gets me thar erum marker gjöv under hin yoltre word by word that's there which Icelandic does not use like English does to establish the existence of something, right? We say there is a tree here. Logically, that doesn't make sense because we're saying both there and here, but English uses there as an establishing, right, existential uh, word. Old Norse and Icelandic don't. 
erum, that's R in the we are sense, right? Again, this is like Spanish somos rather than son, which is not what we want. Marger, which is a singular form of the word many, doesn't agree in gender with the word gift. It, you know, uh, ridiculous a mess. Give, that means gift, but singular gift. Under, under, okay, that's right. Hen, now the word the can take that form, but typically the word the is actually a suffix that you add to the noun in Old Norse or Icelandic. So this is wrong on eight different levels because it's in the wrong place, the wrong case, the wrong gender. And it's not even suffixed. Yol, Christmas, which is a separate word in English, but not a separate word from Christmas, from the tree part in Christmas tree in Icelandic, and then tre. If I want to do this correctly in Icelandic, you know, leaving aside that a lot of this stuff wouldn't even make sense in Old Norse where they don't talk about Christmas trees, I would say Thad eru margar gjavir undir yola trenu. With Thad, that's the establishing existential word in Icelandic. Eru, the they are form, margar, agreeing with gjavir, which is a feminine plural, uh, and then undertaking the dative of the word tree as well as the suffix the word and yola tre, one word, Christmas tree, because Icelandic, like most Germanic languages other than English, makes compounds here, not two word phrases that sort of semantically function as a compound noun. What got me really thinking about this again was the the God of War scenes that I saw with IGN. And, and I'll, I'll just give you one example just to pick on them at the very end of this where nobody's gonna watch too. Because I'm like, as much as I know that, you know, everything that I could say in my life isn't gonna cost them a dollar, I still, there's a part of me that hates, you know, being the, the guy picking on someone else, even though I'm, it's, it's such a David and Goliath thing. It's like, you know, a, a, a fly that, momentarily bothers a, a giraffe here but here's a specific example in one of the scenes i saw uh, freya who is i think trying to like close a rift right like a tear in space time or something like that and she shouts lysa riva okay what it looks like is somebody looked up somebody wanted to look up close the rift that's my best guess or close the tear right, or the, the rip or something like that, whatever they're calling these, you know, um, splits in space-time. They found the two words, lasa, lysa, lysa modern Icelandic, which is close, shut. But again, it's like the they close, they shut form. Not what you'd say if you were saying, like, I want it to, or do this, or may it close. And then riva means to tear, Right, like I tear, take my notebook and I, I tear it. Um, so, you know, it's like to lock, to tear, or they lock, they tear. It's not at all what they wanted to say here. What I think I would say here is instead, uh, again, just using modern Icelandic, lysi kaftinum. So lysi is the uh, justice or subjunctive, you know, may it lock um and i you know i don't know who is being like implored to do this but it seems like there's some sort of like a, a stated like hypothetical third person subject here which is how i'm kind of taking it and then kaftanum from kafter mouth because i think that the analogy this is another place where you need competent speakers of the target language the analogy in old norse wouldn't be a tear but a mouth right, a mouth in, in, in the realms or something like that. So may it close the mouth, captain, and with kafti being the date of singular because Lysa takes a date of object uh, of kafter mouth and then num being the word the suffix to it. If uh, you want to take it as like kafter is a subject, I guess you could say like kafter in like sie, leister or something like that, like may the mouth be closed. Somehow that doesn't seem quite as intuitively right to me. But of course, no one's ever talking about rifts in space-time in Old Norse, right? That's not how they talk about the, the different realms and stuff. As a final remark, as I was thinking about this and how Google Translate handles the stuff, I thought, you know, I'm not sure they got the word tear because when I put in the word tear in Google Translate, I get Tower, which means 
tear, which, you know, again, it's kind of funny because that's, it would be pretty funny if that's what they got. But uh, it's a good reminder that sometimes the word that we want uh, to get translated isn't even pronounced like the word that Google Translate thinks we've typed in. So folks, you know, I've delivered this message before. Uh, many different production companies uh, have been much better about this. You know, Ubisoft uh, was very careful about language stuff with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, which I consulted on, but it doesn't have to be me, right? You, like, th this isn't about how great I am or whatever. This is about the fact that you need competent speakers of a language to do translation. Google Translate doesn't work, especially for a language with such complicated grammar as Old Norse or Icelandic. It's embarrassing to me. It's as bad as, you know, the tattoos that people think say in kanji, you know, peace, but they say Budweiser or whatever, you know, the urban legend is about that stuff. For all I know, it actually happens because, boy, people do not think about how much of a skilled effort it is to translate from one language into another. Whew. Well, it's getting cold and windy up here with Long Straggy Peak behind me over there. I am going to try to forget about video games for a few years to come. I'm going to smoke this, uh, what is this, La Bomba that uh, Regan, my good friend down at Cigars on Six, uh, gave me. What a what a kind guy and a viewer of the channel, so I just want to say hi to Regan. That's uh, just a little shout out for a, a good pal who <laughs> has helped me deal with the stupid stresses of my idiotic attempts to make a living off of knowing Old Norris, which obviously even people who want to translate stuff into Old Norris don't give a shit about. Huh. You know? Uh. It's too high for my lighter to work, so it's too windy. Finally got this to work. Folks, language is complicated. <laughs> I care about y'all. And uh, really appreciate your support uh, for getting some real expertise out about this stuff. Um, sorry for my frustrations. And uh, for beautiful Colorado, let me wish you all all the best. Even the God of War Ragnarok people.